Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, this video is going to be of a pearl cell painting and I actually thought I had lost the footage of this pearl cell painting um, and I had actually just forgotten it, about it and I think my phone wasn't working quite right at one time when I was trying to play back the footage but I did find it and this is a special pearl cell painting because it's one of two that um, a local home furnishings company here in High Point, which is kind of the mecca of home furnishings and furniture, um, Chelsea House, they have um, wanted to license this and the first Pearl Cell painting that I did a video of on my channel about six months ago, um, and I'll put an, a card up in the right hand corner of this so that you could go and check that video out as well. I'm using my uh, latex glove to kind of just spread out this uh, thin white pearl cell mixture around the canvas making sure that it's got a good coating of it um, I like to do this a lot of times just quickly and use my latex glove to get it all coated evenly and smoothly and then I'll usually use my torch to kind of get the air bubbles out where I need to and apparently pick a few paint goobies out that I guess I missed when I strained my flow trawl now, as I said earlier, Chelsea House, the home furnishings company here in High Point, is going to license this as a high-end print along with my other pearl cell painting. And I wanted to give you a little background because the 24 karat gold is used in this. And I think the, the objective is to make these high-end kind of larger scale prints um, to be framed behind glass. And the areas that are the 24 karat gold will actually be gold leaf. I wanted to quickly mention kind of what colors I think that I used during this pour. I think I used Venetian blue, Golden's uh, turquoise, and I think I mixed that kind of greenish uh, blue. I really wish I could remember what it was, but I don't. Um, and then glacier blue. I know I think I have kind of a champagne color, a Nico Azo gold, and the 24 karat gold. Um, and I think it was a really, beautiful color palette and I love the way these colors work as you'll see later on um, when the painting is getting poured. As you see, I'm layering the cup and I'm doing like a dirty cup um, for this pour and I think I'm actually doing a couple. Yes, I'm pouring another cup, uh, same kind of thing, uh, just to make sure that I have enough paint and tried to layer the cup the same way and um, looks like I've got a few drops on the canvas, being a little messy, but that's okay. A couple of little drops on there won't really affect this type of pour. Now friends, I want to ask you to please hit the like button for this video. It really does help my channel out. And ring the bell so you'll be notified when I post new videos. And please leave me a comment because you're all my friends and I really want to hear from you. And what time is it? It's a flipping time. Sorry, Massey boys. <laughs> You can have tilting time, this is flipping time. And we're deciding where to flip it, and bam, there we go. Now, after flipping the cups, you wanna kinda of tap on them a little bit and kinda of let them sit there and let things kind of settle and mix around. Now I'm gonna close up on these uh, flip cups uh, while I'm letting them you know, settle and mix around. Um, and then I'm going to come in, I'm going to torch and try to bring up some more uh, cells, kind of warm up that paint a little bit. I'm going to take my wooden skewer and pop the top of these paper cups. And I'm going to do this and hope we can get some pressure release and some dynamic reaction in these paints.
really like the image that I'm seeing develop and I'm just inf in infusing a little bit of the pearl cell mixture to kind of break up the shape slightly uh, so that as I'm tilting it around you know it's gonna maybe hopefully create a little bit more dynamic dispersion of pearl cells maybe and create a little bit more interest to this composition Now, the idea of this pearl cell type painting is the pearl cell mixture of the white is a pretty thin uh, paint. It's a pretty thin white mixture. And the colors are also pretty thin, but just maybe slightly thicker than the pearl cell white mixture. So the hope is that we're going to tilt off the paint and by tilting off the paint, we're gonna thin out that top layer so that the bottom lighter paint of the white pearl cell mixture will pop up and create these beautiful little pearl cells um, throughout the painting. Unfortunately, I lost some of the footage of how I kind of manipulate this painting and how you see this painting sort of develop. This kind of cell reactive mixture needs time to develop to see like the pearl cells pop up and these kind of cloudy, snowbanky kind of uh, shapes that are moving through it. They develop a little bit more, but you'll see this at the end when you see the dried results. Um, you'll see how. I manipulated it with my skewer a bit and you'll see all of the pearl cells uh, that did pop up after you know the painting had sat for a while. If you've enjoyed this video please hit that like button and like the video and please ring the bell and select all so you'll be alerted when I upload new videos. And please leave me a message. Let me know what you like about this, maybe what you didn't like about this, or what you'd like to see in the future. So I hope you enjoyed this time with me doing this pearl cell painting. And as I said, I'm really honored that Chelsea House is going to license this painting and my other pearl cell painting. And there's one other pearl cell painting and I will try and show them all in my next video and talk about that maybe a little bit more and I'll also be announcing another exciting development that I've been honored to um, be chosen for. I've, I've got a really large commission that I'll be talking about maybe in my next video. So be on the lookout for these upcoming episodes because I'll have some exciting news about the kind of cool content that I'll be able to share uh, from these upcoming commissions. you see the painting after it had dried and you see how many pearl cells developed and you see these beautiful golden that 24 karat gold I played with the skewer with it and it looks like these beautiful golden shimmery koi fish swimming underneath these uh, frozen waters of this river because of that I chose to call this painting Arctic River Like always.
always, I have really enjoyed our time together. I hope you've enjoyed this piece called Arctic River. And I look forward to seeing you again. And stay tuned for these exciting upcoming episodes where I'll talk about more about the Chelsea House uh, licensing of these paintings and my commissions that are coming up and share with you the details of some exciting uh, content that will be coming up. So yeah, stay tuned. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.